A woman can afford her child not just... All three trimesters, a woman can afford her child in America. I want to say this again. In America, a woman can afford her child for, for uh, all nine months. She can still go to an abortion clinic and have her baby dismembered while it's alive inside of her body as the doctors cut its head and arms and rip its legs off and tear its body parts out. That's legal in America, but it's a crime for you, young lady, to spank your child. You'll go to jail for child abuse and child endangerment. Do you see the stupidity and this ideology? And you can walk away and you can ignore everything the man of God is saying right now, but you cannot deny the fact that truth is truth. Let me explain to you exactly what truth is. Truth is, Water to a cracked vessel. As soon as you put water into a lie, the truth will find the chink inside of the armor of the lie and would begin to expose the lie by leaking out. So if I have a cup that I want to drink a cup of tea or coffee with, Brother A, and I pour some hot coffee in that cup and it has a crack, it's going to find that crack and it's going to leak out. This is what truth is to a lie. Hallelujah. Here in 23rd verse, and change the glory of the incorruptible God into all the image made like corruptible man. And birds and the four-footed animal and the creeping things, therefore God also gave them up to an unclean and in the last Oh, excuse me, and in the rest of their hearts to dishonor their own bodies amongst themselves, who exchanged the truth for God for the lie, who worshiped the, and served the creature rather than the Creator, who is blessed forever. Amen. For the reason God gave them up to a vile passion, for even though women exchanged natural use for what was against nature or God, Likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Hallelujah. Likewise, also the men leaving use, the natural use of the woman, burning the lust for one another, man with men, committing what is shameful and receiving unto themselves the penalty of their error which was due. Hallelujah. And even as they did not like to remain or retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not fitting. You see, being filled with all unrighteousness, sexual immorality, wickedness, covetedness, maliceness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil, mindlessness. They are worshipers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, and disobedient to their parents. This is talking about the depravity of man, the wickedness and the ungodliness that is in our heart. Every day, when you turn on mainstream media, you will find a story where some young person has pulled out a gun and shot and killed somebody else. This is another instance of the folly of man's rationale. The more the government outlaws guns and say that they're an evil weapon, the more gun violence takes hold of the United States of America. The more the government pushes against the Second Amendment, the more there is violence in America. Why is that not working out? It has never worked. It goes to show the folly of man in the way that he thinks. 
Hallelujah. So I have to share with you guys. They have a number, right? In America, we've allowed the government to become our moral compass. We've given up all morality to the government. The government has now become our God. The government has taken the issues of morality that God has spoken about in His Word, and they've said, no, we're going to be your God, and you've allowed it to happen through the tyrannical overtaking that has come here from the left versus the right ideology. Your religion is now Republican against Democrat, Donald Trump against Biden, Hillary Clinton, and all the other crazies there in Washington. This has been nothing but a distraction from your true enemy, Satan. God bless you. He loves you, brother. God bless you. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You, you see, you would not get angry, but for the fact that you feel convicted in your heart. And so you lash out because of your conviction. And you want to give us the number one hand signal. <laughs> Hallelujah. And you'll scream and holler and call us profanity and all kinds of vile crap. It's because you're full of the devil. People don't believe in demonic possession, but I'm here to tell you, Satan is the God of this world. Temporarily, God has given him dominion over the earth. But Satan's stupid and he's foolish. He doesn't realize that God that created everything has given him that green light to serve a purpose because God is judging America. Hallelujah. Why do you think there's so many people that are sick? So many people that are dying? Why people are taking more stress medication and more anxiety medication? We have more people that are using marijuana, cocaine, and heroin. Right. We have more people popping fentanyl and pain pills. And now the new drug on the scene is called Flocka. And it drives people out of their mind. They're jumping out of two and three and four story windows, landing on cars and dying. They're stepping in front of trains and cars on the freeway. Now we idolize other things in America. Uh, there was a story that just came out on social media, and I know this is going to offend a few people. Well, you know what? Praise the Lord. Jesus offended a lot of people. There's a story that came out of Kanye West with Justin Bieber praying for one of the most world-renowned, outspoken Satanists He's an entertainer that burns Bibles in his concerts. His name is Marilyn Manson. He'll vomit on the Holy Bible. He urinates on stage. He's even been recorded defecating on the Bibles. And he'll put up a pile of Bibles and he'll throw accelerant on these Bibles and he'll burn them and spit on them and he'll blow snot out of his nostrils and say, God's a liar. All of a sudden, He's getting that Hollywood version of Christianity. We here in America all want to say, I have my version of Jesus, and you have your version, and I have my version of truth, and you have your version of truth, and the real Jesus is all about love. It's love, that cotton candy Christian called love, love, love. You got to feel good, feel good, love, love, love. I have bad news for you. That's not the Jesus of the Holy Bible. That Jesus is a righteous God, and he's, guess what, he's a sovereign God. He's going to righteously judge each and every one of us. We're going to stand alone, my neighbor. There's not going to be anybody, no Hollywood, no Justin Bieber's, no Kanye West, no rock music, no country music, no rock and roll music, no death metal music. We're not going to be able to look back and see Twisted Sister, Motley Crue, or anybody else, it's just going to be you and Jesus, and God's going to judge you Amen. for your sin. If you don't repent, neighbor, if you don't accept the free gift of eternal salvation that was given to you in love, Hallelujah. my friends, you're going to die, and you're going to die in your sin. And just because you don't believe it does not make it true. I, I used to believe when I was six years old that I could fly like Superman. 
and I would have my mother tie a towel on my shirt and around my neck and I would run and jump. But did that mean I was really Superman? We got people out here that are identifying as black god knows, frogs, lizard, rocks, fire hydrogen, trees, but are they truly really them things? We have men saying I identify as, and women saying that I identify as, God made a mistake when he made me, he put me in the wrong body. God don't make mistakes. That's a lie from Satan. He's all sovereign. He's all knowing. He's everywhere. He's in and out of time. He's in material. He created time. Hallelujah. Your religion and evolution is a lie, my friends, and it takes a lot more faith to believe that everything that was created in the universe came out of a dot the size on a piece of paper. Satan is the liar of all liars. He's the father of lies, and one of the biggest tricks that he's ever been able to pull on mankind is it? He doesn't exist, and we have fallen for it. Now, we believe there's all kinds of other gods like Kali, the god of Baal, okay? And we believe in Thor. We believe in the Greek gods, all right? We believe in Mathusa. We believe in all these other deities. Do you know if you go to Thailand, they have 5,000 different gods? Do you know how they worship their gods? They make their gods right there on the city street in Thailand. And then they paint them. And then they take them to their temple and they bow down and they worship their gods. I don't want a God I have to create. I want a God that created me. Yes. I want to take the word of a man who walked this earth, was tried, convicted, found innocent by the man who murdered him, Pontius Pilate. Hallelujah. How he was found no sin. Do you know Pontius Pilate was given a message by his wife the night he was told to condemn Christ to the crucifixion. His wife sent him a message and said, Leave this man alone, Pontius Pilate, for I had a dream last night. He's innocent. You want nothing to do with this man. Leave him alone. Pontius Pilate gave a visual illustration of him washing his hands of the blood of Jesus Christ because he knew Jesus was innocent of all charges. Why would Pontius Pilate, a Greek or Roman magistrate, do such a thing? Well, at first, he was convinced to know that it was the truth. And then he gave the Jews what they want, and they murdered their own Messiah. We, too, today, in America, want to murder Jesus Christ. Why? Because we murder each other, and we come to places like abortion clinics, and we murder our unborn children. And God created us in his own image. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to take you to the book of Matthews, my friends, and I'm going to read a very short verse. It's going to prove some very important things to you. Hallelujah. And then we're going to go to the book of all books in the Bible that a lot of Christians right now are talking about and Christian of. It's the book most pastors avoid because they don't want to force their uh, or scare their. Uh, patriots out of their churches. Right here, in the book of Matthew, in the 12th chapter, and the 30th verse, it says, He who is not with me is against me. Now these are Jesus' words. And he who does not gather with me scatters against me or abroad. Jesus said right there, that either you're with me or you're against me. There's no middleman. And I, I remember on my way over here this morning, I was thinking to myself about how everybody will say, well, I, I believe in God. I'm just not a religious fanatic. Uh, can you define what a religious fanatic is? You call yourself a Christian, but you try to use the Bible to defute the Bible or you deny what the Bible says. How is it that you are a Christian? Are you a culture Christian? You just identify as a Christian because you don't know what else to say? 
Or are you truly born again? Have you accepted Jesus into your heart? I'm going to read a verse out of the book of Revelation that explains why everything is taking place today that is taking place in our culture. It's going to explain to you exactly why our government is doing the things that they're doing and why soon and very soon Christianity will be outlawed. We're going to the book of Romans, or Revelation, excuse me. We're going to the, uh, hallelujah. 18th chapter. Yes, Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ah, I see. What problem should you put my glasses on? But stutter. Right here it says in the book of Revelation at the 18th chapter and the 23rd verse. In 316. Did not come to the world but to save us. 